Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm doing a workshop version here today. Um, I'm preparing my workshop here at our current house um, to get everything prepared so I can start making and fabricating everything I need for the container house project. So I'm intending to build the kitchen, wardrobe, shelving, everything I possibly can. So I've got to get my workshop done here properly. Um, today I'm starting on my French cleat wall which I have built and secured to the wall here so I can basically just unbolt it and take it to the new property, the container house property, um, when that's all ready. To begin with, I have bought a pocket hole jig. Um, this is a UJK unit. Um, it, it looks really nice. I found the jig uh, after watching John McCrath's Man in Shed uh, YouTube channel. I'll put a link down in the description to that. It's, it's very, very good. Um, but he was using another UJK jig um, for his uh, workshop table. So I went over to Axminster just to have a quick look at that and uh, noticed this pocket hole jig. So um, it's quite expensive, but I ordered it because I want things to last. I've started to buy all my tools uh, which is Makita because I've got all the batteries now, but I, I'm hoping things will last all the way through our container house build. So I'm just going to show you the pocket hole jig. Uh, I'm going to put together a small cabinet which will go onto my French cleat wall and um, let's see how it goes. I decided to buy the kit uh, just because you need the clamps, the dust extraction and also the screws as well so you get a very large box of screws with the kit when you add all that up individually it actually costs a lot more so I just went ahead and bought the kit um, and we're going to open that up now so in the kit in this uh, little bag is the is the clamp and I'll show you that in a minute that is basically to clamp the unit when it's not part of the jig itself. Here is the jig. So as you can see this bolts down onto the bench. Um, it's got its own clamp there. So this clamp here is used when you dismantle this unit. There's these four screws here so you can uh, take this off and use it um, on site or, or wherever. Um, this part here is screwed on with two bolts and that's the dust extraction. So it's very, very well made, really, really nice, all machined, um, yeah, it, it's probably worth the money. I haven't used it yet, so we're going to do that in this video, but uh, I'm pretty pleased with it at the moment. Then you have uh, the drill with a stopper. You have a Torx bit, which is for the screws. I'll show you the screws in a minute. You have a small base plate and that again is when you dismantle this off the jig itself. This sits on the bottom of the plate and that just allows uh, the positioning to get the exact position of the actual uh, pocket holes. So there are all the bits. I'm going to uh, get this on the bench and all this wood underneath, as you can see, is cut for a, uh, a drill station for my French cleat wall. So this is the first cabinet I've ever made. So uh, bear with me and uh, hopefully it'll go well. These are the screws here. It's uh, a Torx, Torx head there and uh, it's got a flat section like a, a washer. And these are um, self-tapping screws. Now I've watched the uh, setup video from Axminster with regards to this UJK jig and uh, to set up the depth of the drill it says to put a two pence piece just here now I'm in France and we don't have two pence pieces but I've used a, a washer which I think is about the same size and you slot this in until it touches the two pence piece or the washer in this case and then you adjust using the small uh, Allen key, the stopper just here. So I'm just going to adjust that down. There we go. So now that 
should stop exactly at the right place. We'll see on the first one. The other setting that's required is the, so the thickness of wood. So I'm using 18 millimeter ply. On, on the side here, I'll just unscrew this first. There's a knurled nut each side of the unit. And on the side here, if you can see, there's numbers here, 12, 18, 24, 30, 38. Now I'm using 18, so the 12 to 18 is already set at the bottom, but you just set your wood thickness just there and then cinch it up tight. There. So they're the two fit, uh, settings, the drill stop and the wood thickness. I just took the dust extractor off just so to show the uh, the setting of the wood thickness. Um, to, to put it back on, it's just two simple screws in here, bolts with the also the uh, an Allen key that's included, and they just cinch up. It is plastic. When I first saw it, I thought this section also was machined um, metal, aluminium, um, but it's not. But it's okay. We'll soon see if it uh, if it works okay. So I'm going to place it in, line it up with the edge. There's no real need to get exact measurements. I'm just putting them all the same. That's all clipped in, nice and solid. Now with my drill, it's this left one I'm going to use. Right, you can see there all the dust here. I'm now, for the next one, going to turn on the dust extraction. So I'm just going to slide this along. I'm also going to use the left hand one. Now with the dust extraction, let's see if there's any difference. So just with this little dust extractor, absolutely zero dust, zero um, chips come out when I pull out the drill. So it's well worth getting this, sec this um, option. As you can see, it's perfect. An absolute perfect cut. So I'm using 30 millimeter self-tapping screws. Just gonna slot them in the holes in readiness. I've marked up the exact position where the wood is going to go. I've put a little bit of glue. And, uh, And there it is, the perfect fit. So uh, yeah, very pleased with that. A little bit of glue comes out the other side. The other holes are to attach this upwards. 
So I've just, uh, as you can see, I've just offset them a little bit. So I'll carry on doing these and put the, uh, the small cabinet together. So there we have it, my first ever cabinet build and the first item to go on my French cleat wall in the workshop. So uh, it's got space for all my uh, battery chargers and then a little drawer for all the bits and bobs that I'll uh, no doubt store in there. Little handle I had from Ikea from uh, some wardrobes we had so I just place that on there and then room for my five drivers and drills. It works perfectly, I might drop it down a bit because it's too high. All of those will plug directly in when I put the, uh, the sockets on the wall. But no, I'm pretty pleased with it. So I'm quite impressed with this uh, IJK pocket hole jig. Um, as I said right at the beginning, it is so well made. Highly recommend it. Uh, first time I've really used a pocket hole jig I've used the blue one as I said, but uh, it worked perfectly. So I'm pleased that I spent the money on it. Um, I've done my first cabinet and plenty more to come. So uh, if you do like these um, workshop videos, then uh, put a, a note in the comment. We'll be getting on with the, uh, the homestead build with the polytunnel very shortly. So uh, follow us along, please subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time with Julie. All right, bye bye for now.